why was Earth created, and what were we responding to in the design of Earth. So let me just go through a couple of very basic things first, but, and you all know this, that Earth is international. We are in Costa Rica. It's a four-year undergraduate program. Uh, it's only one program. All the students go through the same program, and the focus is, in a very general sense, agricultural sciences and natural resource management. What it talks about is preparing leaders, ethical leaders, for sustainable development. And it just so happens that our area of expertise and our area of concentration is agriculture. But what's really important is the preparation of the next generation of leaders. Well, I'm uh, Professor Rose Moña from Egerton University in Kenya. I am the Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic Affairs. I'm Walter Odong. I'm a lecturer at Blue University in Uganda. I'm Nancy Mungai from Egerton University, Kenya. I teach soil microbiology and soil fertility, but I also coordinate field attachment programs. I'm Dr. Mgonola Bezo from Uganda. I teach at Gulu University in the Department of uh, Rural Development and Agribusiness. My name is Tom Wambua from um, Egerton University. I work in the Department of Agricultural Economics and Agribusiness. My name is Duncan Ongeng. I'm from Gulu University in Uganda. I am the Dean of the Faculty of Agriculture and Environment. My name is Dr. Jasta Zombati. I'm a senior lecturer in the Department of Agricultural Education and Extension, Egerton University, Kenya. Yeah, my name is Eli Njomu Jenyi. I also teach at the Gulu University. I am an animal scientist. I'm here in, uh, at Earth University to learn about their model of experiential learning. And uh, community outreach program at Earth University. It's to share experience, to learn from the way Earth University does a cultural training to their graduates. In leadership training, ethics, responsibility. But to also share my experiences. To improve on student attachment and student entrepreneurship scheme. To try to understand and see whether there are elements of that training that we can take back home and inculcate in our students. I think the key thing I hope I can get is um, the experience that Earth University has had. They, they have had these outreach programs for over 20 years. I expect to meet with the students and get a feel of what it feels like to go through this, sample, that program also to interact with the professors here, yeah? and then thirdly to meet with the farming communities. And how do they organize the internship? How long are the students attached to the farmers? How do they assess the program? How do the farmers benefit? What is the main benefit from the students? How do you ensure that this kind of a program is sustainable? I expect that um, when we go back home, we'll be able to apply what they do. Yeah, it is going to be an intense learning. Well, the things uh, when we bring people here from other universities is a good opportunity to share knowledge and to reply maybe this model that is very successful in, in another part of the world. And the other thing is to know how they do different things that maybe we can apply here because we can learn from each other. The most important thing of experiential learning is that student can discover by himself or herself. Turning the curriculum upside down. Yeah. So start yeah. with the big picture, a corn plant. Don't start with chemistry because they didn't come here to study chemistry. They came here to study maize and pumpkins. And, and then you get their interest, you captivate them. Instead of you know, having that relationship whereby the students and the professors, and they bring in that relationship whereby like for other university you have the professors and the students being together. This is not a teaching center. It's a learning center. They're gonna be, the students are learning here 24 hours a day, they are learning. The actual hands-on experience, the reflection with, with the theoretical concepts, and, and try to always match them up. The program is divided in four areas that we call the formative areas. One is the personal development. Because this has a lot to do with values. Punctuality, hard work. Because the student has to learn 
through respect. By uh, being able to make friends and interacting with people from different countries, you realize the potential that you have in terms of knowing what other people think and trying to understand other people. The other one is the social and the environmental development. How to train a future agronomist to be responsible with the environment, to be aware of the responsibility that we should have. I call it a living lab because we teach here, so some of the courses are being taught here. So what we do is take these students and join a family and work together with a family for one trimester. So we expose the students when they are in first year a little bit and then when they go to the second year they have to have the experience with the community. When they go to the third year we send the students to another campus. They go to live with a rural family and then we want them to learn to develop the entrepreneurial mindset. So we have a three years long course. The scientific and technical knowledge is divided in four areas. Animal production, plant production, natural resources management, and the social and economic aspects of people who live in the rural area. Then you get the technical part and you know, you know how to apply them, you know how to interact with different, with different communities. The idea here is that students are involved in all of this. They're experimenting, they're working. They have an experiential learning process by doing this kind of activities. So this institution was created for young kids to have an education and go back to their communities to help the communities. All the exchange with the communities is framed with what we call the Community Developing Program on which hundreds of students have come and, come and look and learn in the communities around here. The stuff is, 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 is usually, for this time around, it's about seven professors working, plus 10, uh, plus three members, staff members of the community development programs. They define these projects in the community where our students are involved. And we are dealing roughly with, in this place, about with 70 students, somewhere in the neighborhood of 70 students. Our focus is really on development of the country and the development of the community. Our students have the opportunity to promote, to strengthen their social awareness and their social commitment. So I think the main idea is not is to practice that relationship with the community. The important part of our culture process is in the community. Communities host our students. Without their active participation, this doesn't work. And thinking about what's the essence of what we do, and it's about people. We want professionals who have a concern for their community, for their region, for their country, for the planet. I don't think a professional is a professional when they don't know how to relate with the community. Our main goal, our main objective is to promote the development of agribusiness activities. To develop the entrepreneurial mindset. So we have a three years long course. The first year is the creation of the business, of the idea. At the beginning, it was very hard for us because at the first week of class, we already had to choose our business partners. They had to imitate what the people that are working in businesses, they do. Some people want to, to do a business, but they don't know anything about the business. So they have to learn how to do it. We started by uh, having some objectives. The first one we wanted to do is to be the best producer of, of pineapple here on campus because we had a lot of competition. We had to be the best to be able to sell our product and pass the course. So the students presented the project, they defend the project. If the project is approved, they're going to make a loan. So they're going to receive money. And then in the second year, they're going to implement the project. And this is the process how we are making our product. So first of all, we buy the pineapple from some local producers. Then we take them to the lab. We clean it, we wash it, and that's how the process starts. These are the different prices we are selling to our different clients. They make the money, they pay the loan, they pay everything, and they if there is profit, they're going to divide the profit among them. And when they finish that, they're going to go to the third year and they're going to do 
a course to analyze the study of this project and they're gonna learn how to do a project analysis. It is very important to generate a, a, an agricultural activity with economic focus so that you can be able to, to have sustainability because sustainability uh, includes uh, different aspects, the social, environment and the economic. And then um, when they finished, they presented and they defended like a thesis research. The entrepreneurial programs that we have here at Earth is to develop the attitude that they think that they can do it. It's been a very exciting experience. They've made a deliberate effort to incorporate you know, a practical approach, to incorporate experiential learning, and to incorporate a community outreach. It certainly enriches this program and uh, helps to produce graduates that are more hands-on, I would say, than our system. So the production here is, I think, more sustainable and high yielding. This is a community, a community that is together, that works together. Everybody is part of a community that is moving forward, singing one song. I wish we could bring our students over just to see this experience. It is very enriching. I'm really identifying with the, with the system because when I was going to school at Edgerton in those early days, this is what we used to do. Once they go back to the farm, we will be in a straight line and it can be done. How do we break these barriers? I think that will be the challenge that we need to face and how do we walk the talk? What I take home from this, this experience is that despite the numbers, we must find a way of bringing back practical aspects and experiential learning for our students. Because the kind of graduates we are producing right now are not having that hands-on experience. We need to move away from teaching to facilitating learning. When they go back to Kenya and try to open up the mind of the students, like, you know, show them different, or give the classes in a different way. But I believe once we go back uh, to my country, is to find a way of making this program a mandatory unit for all the students who are taking agriculture. If we emulate what you are doing here into our local conditions, the world will change. With the little knowledge I've added on from here, I can make a difference back home.